Hello. I just want to take a couple minutes to demo for you really quickly here. Um, what I'm showing you now is a quick sketch that I did. You can see that the sketch takes up most of my paper. So when you draw your flowers out on your paper, they should take up this much space and more. Uh, let me show you a couple things in the demo really quick before you get started this morning. All right, so I've um, just prepped a couple colors here. Um, I tried to prep my yellow, but my water got dirty with the purple, so I had to start all over with fresh water. So keep track of that for yourself as well. So now I've got some colors that I'm ready to mix in here, but the first thing I'm going to do, and one of the first things or first techniques that you can use is to just put some water. Uh, I do have some yellow kind of residual there so you can kind of see where I'm putting the water but I just wanted to just put some water over the surface of the paper here I'm gonna pick pick some of this up with the paintbrush because I'm gonna just drop some color into this water and I just want the color to just flow in here but I don't want it too soupy so I'm gonna pull some of that up so now I've got water in the surface there in the drawing. And I'm just going to start dropping some color in. Get rid of some of that off my paintbrush. That's, that was a lot of paint, so I'm just going to pull some of it back. But just kind of let it flow. Let it feather out, do, do its wonderful thing that watercolor does. I do want to keep the edges of my drawing though. I don't want those to get too smeary. I'm going to pick some of this water back up. And I'm going to put a little orange in there. That's better. That's a lot more under control. And kind of let it flow in the water that I already have. Drop a little yellow in there. I don't want to scrub too much because I don't want to, the colors to blend too much and kind of start to turn muddy. But I do want them to kind of bleed into one another like that. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that very much. So it's kind of a controlled flowing. And I'm just going to drop a little more orange just in some couple areas. And what you have happening is some natural value starting to happen. I didn't really have that much control over this, but with the colors just flowing, and randomly kind of piling up in some areas, it just creates some natural sh values and shadows. And I do have some control in maybe going back in and lightening some areas. Maybe lightening some of these top petals. Because when you look at the flowers, you'll notice that the ones that are behind those are usually a little, little darker because these are casting a shadow on it. So I'm not going to mess with this too much because I really like what's happening here. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to go ahead and finish painting uh, another area here. So I'm going to get some cleaner water and I'm going to start letting some, some color flow here. All right, so I have blown these dry with the hair dryer. So these, these are dry, these, these don't feel damp at all. So now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put in some of those darker values. So I'm gonna go in with the purple. I think I will put a little water because I still want it to flow a little bit, but I'm gonna concentrate with this petal right back here.
And then I'm going to come in on my darken this one just a little bit too because it is in the background. It's being hidden a little bit. And the uh, these petals are casting a shadow on it. You might drop just a little purple in there just to darken that just a little bit. that shadow. So now we're starting to get a layering of, of petals here. These are in the background and shadowed. But I have to make sure that this is all dry before that I do that. Otherwise all of this is going to seep into these nice light upper petals. So use the hair dryer often. You need to in order to control what you're doing. Another thing that I want to remind you is don't be afraid to use the techniques that you just learned on your practice sheet. I'm going to use one of them right here. lift some of that off. Do is go and use a blow dryer and blow that center too and finish out my petals. That water was just a little too dirty for me, so I went and dumped the dirty water out and got some clean water. Now I can just put some clean water on there. The colors feel fresher to me when I start with white with clean water. And on this half of the flower, I'm going to sprinkle just a little salt. And I'm going to let that do its thing. And I'm going to head back over to the blow dryer. Okay. I'm going to make sure I get all that salt off. Before I get all the salt off, I have to make sure that that is really dry. Otherwise, it's just going to smear. So that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put in some of those shadow areas like I did here. So um, I think that's one of the mistakes people make is they try to move too quickly and things just get all muddied up. So um, have fun with the process. You know, use the techniques that you learned on your little sampler there. there. You know, 13 ways um, to create interesting techniques. But try to enjoy the process. Um, and I think if you draw bigger flowers, that'll give you a bit larger spaces to work in.